There are two different kinds of constants that are available to us in Rust. When we're learning Rust by example, guess what? We've got two kind. you can, uh, constant and static, these can be introduced as a global scope and any scope. And there's two kinds, there's two different kinds. It's really nice of them to give us two different kinds. But are there really two different kinds of constants? I'm gonna, t we're taking a look here. So we do have a const, and a const, obviously, if you're declaring a variable with the constant, with this annotation here, when you're declaring it with this annotation, the const annotation, I, I mean, obviously, you're gonna know it's a constant, and it means that it's unchanging. It'll never change and you're good to go. Now, there is another kind of constant that they give to us called a stat static, which has possibly mutable variables with, you know, a forever lifetime, a static lifetime. But there's a problem. You can't actually do it. There's not a good way to do it. They let you do it if, as long as you declare it as unsafe. And you don't ever want to do that. You never want to do that. You never want to be in a situation where you're having to unlock the safety parameters of the programming language, turning the autopilot off, disengaging safety protocols just to be able to mutate a variable and they while they let you do it you have to say it is you have to declare yes i agree compiler this is unsafe that i'm doing this so then there's not really two different kinds of constants as long as you're you know following the rules and being safe you can't really take advantage of a constant like this using static declarations so the rust compiler developers are sort of pushing us towards just using one kind of constant one kind of global variable capability we call the const. They don't want you to use the static, declaring global variables with static and lifetimes. It looks like they do have some motivations. I mean, you might want, at most in most cases, in many cases, you might want to have a, a global variable that you can mutate over time. You don't have to build your application this way. There are other ways to do it that are successful. Though the appeal is there. I might want a counter, like a global counter that's accessible to everyone that can read from it or uh, increment to it. And it's really convenient to be able to do that. And you can do that in most languages. Rust does not want you to do this. They want you to use constants in all cases, but just for interfacing with legacy libraries and a few other outdated practices, they did provide the ability to declare static global variables that are mutable, but you have to declare it as unsafe. And they bring to us the, the descriptions of the concrete problems with constants using static variables that are immutable. They say there's no way for this to be done safely. They do have an intention to resolve this. There's an internal proposal according to which accessing static mutes is considered safe using a sync trait. Okay, that sounds kind of nice. That, that might unlock some developer needs when they're building applications, you know, rapidly. You really don't need this though. You don't, you don't need a mutable static variable. You can always just initialize you know, a struct that has a mutable variable that you have access to and you pass reference to when you need it. So it does seem like there is a desire for Rust to eventually support something like this. Meanwhile, you don't need it. You only need one kind of constant. Using the const definitely is unchangeable. That'd be funny. Const mute. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the compiler won't let me do that. Const mute. It's gonna say, no, what are you trying to do? You can't have constant globals that are mutable. Cannot be mutable. It's a constant. You might want to declare static. Oh, they're like, yeah, I know. As soon as you do that, it's gonna give you another error, isn't it? Mute. All right, so now we're gonna put mute static. Let's see what that does. Yeah, you know, see, I knew it. <laughs> Use of mutable static. It even said, like the compiler's like, oh, you probably meant to do this. So then you change it. And it's like, oh no, you can't do that either. It does say use of mutable static is unsafe and requires us to declare it as unsafe. So if you really wanted to use a static mutable variable, you can do that by putting the mute, put mute here, static mute, and then the data that you want. Then you have to always, anytime you access that static mutable, whether you're reading to it or writing to it, you have to put unsafe, which doesn't feel very good. That's, that's it's not a good feeling. You know, you don't really want to see this. And it's the reason why it's the problem is that it breaks Rust's most important safety principle, which is aliasing mutation. Reading and writing should never happen at the same time unless you synchronize it. So then you sort of put an order to the matter, right? Whenever you're reading or writing to data, you want to make sure that you're not reading and writing at the same exact time, which is possible. This creates an undetermined behavior because you could have partial data. There's just a lot of un unknowns in various scenarios. So what you could do is you can sort of queue it. And so you put your, your order in for reading or writing to that variable. And then you always get, uh, you get in line and then it can 
process serially. There's a lot of patterns to do this, including a lazy static that you can use to define a state that's mutable. And then you just make sure your state is uh, always used and leveraged using this pattern. You can also spawn a separate thread and then have the thread communication over message passing. Now we're, now we're, there's just, there's, there's a lot of fun patterns that you can do uh, to have a mutable global state. Usually you can completely avoid it though. So that's, that's like the ultimate advice for constants inside of Rust. Only use consts. There's no need to use uh, static or mute or static because you just have a const. If you need a constant, it's going to be a, con a continuous value that you always have. It's always there. It's always baked into the, the application. There's just make everything const. There we go. And now everything's happy. And if you want a global mutable state, it's better to avoid that altogether. Just use a different pattern. Create a locally scoped variable that has access, that can be accessed and passed around as a reference when needed. So that way you can uh, keep that data. And if you really need to, you can also use other fun patterns like uh, multi-producer single consumer. You could create a request response model. At least in Rust for now, you we can use a constants uh, just as constants and we, don't, we won't want to mutate them. We don't want to change the values.